Today we are going to study about AA similarity criteria theorem. The statement says if two triangles are equiangular then their corresponding sides are in proportion. The statement has two groups. One is if data if two triangles are equiangular this is data and then their corresponding sides are in proportion. This is to prove. First you have to take data. In two triangles, you have to take two triangles. One is triangle A, B, C and another one is small one you have to take D, E, E, F given that is the data data is in triangle in triangle a b c and triangle d e f the angle a these two are equiangular equiangular nothing but angles of one triangle are equal to the angles of other therefore angle a is equal to angle d Angle B is equal to angle E. Angle C is equal to angle F. Angle A is equal to angle D. Angle B is equal to angle E. Angle C is equal to angle F. This is the data. To prove. To prove. What to prove? See, if two triangles are equiangular, these two are equiangular, then their corresponding sides are in proportion. Corresponding sides. Corresponding sides means which are the angles are equal. Here angle A is equal to angle D. Their opposite sides are called corresponding sides. Angle A is equal to angle D. Angle A opposite side is BC. Angle D opposite side is EF. BC and EF are called corresponding sides. Here so angle C is equal to angle F. Therefore AB and DE are the corresponding sides. Similarly AC and DF are the corresponding sides. These corresponding sides are proportion. You have to write in proportion. That is AB by a B by D E it is equal to A C by D F it is equal to B C by E F. So this is data and this is to prove. Now see the construction. You have to do some construction to prove this. In triangle A B C Mark G on AB and H on AC such that so you have to mark like this DE is equal to AG and DF is equal to AH point GH this is the construction so you can write now here mark mark G on a b and h on a c such that such that so a g a g is equal to d e and a h is equal to d f like that you have to construct. Construction always write in dotted lines. Next we can go for proof. In this proof, first you have to show A, G, H and D, E, F are the congruent triangles. How to show congruent triangles? You know the postulates. So yes, 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 postulate. A, yes, a postulate. Yes, a is postulate. By using this, we can prove these two are congruent. Which one postulate is applicable? We can see now. 
in triangle in triangle a g h and in triangle d e f see which are the angles and sides are equal see angle a is equal to angle t you know that in the data they given angle a is equal to angle d so you can say angle a of this triangle agh is equal to angle of this triangle def therefore angle g a h angle is equal to e d f angle angle of this triangle is equal to angle of this triangle this is from data next we can go for the in the construction we made so ag is equal to de ah is equal to tf see in the construction we made ag is equal to de and ah is equal to df that means side of this is equal to this and this one is equal to this you can say ag is equal to de and ah is equal to df this is from construction see in these two triangles angle of this triangle is equal to angle of this and sides of these two triangles are equal to the sides of this two. according to s a s postulate two sides and its common angle is equal to the two sides and its common angle so according to s a s postulate these two triangles are congruent therefore triangle a g h is congruent to triangle d e f from which postulate yes a s postulate see if these two triangles are congruent then their corresponding angles and sides are equal we can tell like this gh this side is also equal to ef gh is equal to ef gh is equal to ef we call it as 1 and also their corresponding corresponding side angles also equal which are the corresponding angles see a g h angle a g h angle of this triangle is equal to the d e f angle angle see and also no see these two are congruent therefore these two angles are he equal similarly see this and this and these two angles are equal in the data they given so a b c angle a b c angle is equal to the which angle d e f angle d e f angle this is from data see a g h angle is also equal to d e f a b c angle is also equal to d e f this angle is also equal to this this angle is equal to this from these two we can say these two are equal then these two also equal a g h angle is equal to a b c angle see these two angles are equal then angle is equal to this angle these two are corresponding angles therefore g h is parallel to b c because a g h angle and a b c angle or corresponding angles these two are corresponding angles then these two are parallel you know that according to the in a triangle a straight line is 
drawn parallel to the third side then according to the corollary of thales theorem or basic proportionality theorem the sides of the new triangle or proportional to the sides of the given triangle we can say like this ab by the sides of the given triangle ab by ab by ag that is equal to ac by ah equal to bc by gh bc by gh ab by ag ac by ah and bc by gh so from corollary of b p t so you know that you can substitute in place of ag in place of ag ag is equal to de in construction they given ag is equal to de and ah in place of ah you can substitute df and in place of gh you can substitute ef okay if you substitute that what will get i will write here in place of ab ab you write as it is ab by ab by ag ag in place of ag what to substitute in construction we made ag is equal to de you can substitute de and also in ah is equal to ah is equal to df df that is equal to bc by in place of gh you substitute f ef gh is equal to ef in one so is e e f this is from one and construction this is about theorem thank you